Okay, so welcome to video number three, and we're gonna dive straight in and talk about time-limited discount specials. So just as the title states, you're going to be offering a time-limited offer at a discount rate. And there are different avenues that you can take to achieve this. So let's dive in. Typically, we have seen 72-hour specials go really, really well. But I would say keep it at 72 hours max. We've tested over that time, uh, more than that time, even a week. And I found that anything longer than that actually takes away from the scarcity. So a lot of times, most of your sales will come in the beginning, the middle, and at the very end. Usually, most of your sales will come at the very end. So we've tested 72 hours, that really works really well. And even 48 hour specials are even better, especially if they come out of the blue. Now, one question I know many of you will probably be asking is, wouldn't you lose sales if the hours are less? And yeah, that's the same thing that I even thought about as well. But the reality is that 72 hours is actually too long, in my opinion. And the reason why is because a lot of times people forget, people are busy. So unless you're emailing your list over and over and over again, they're going to forget, right? So 72 hours, typically you want to email them the first day, middle of the launch. And then, of course, the last day you want to email them as well to remind them. But if you're a week whole week, seven days, you're going to email them beginning. Typically, you want to email them on the second day. And then you're going to have the day three, four, five, six, all empty. And by that point, people will have forgotten, right? So typically with those runs, and that's fine. Seven days is fine if you want to do it that way. Just keep in mind, you're going to have to email your list a little bit more. First day, second day, typically the mid time, middle of the week, and of course, day six and day seven. Typically, you want to email them 48 hours before, 24 hours before, and then of course, that day. So while yes, that is the normal thought process, and you could possibly lose some initially, but as long as you stay true to your word, your customers are going to take you more seriously the next time around. So if you do this like a month later, and people that lose out on that initial deal, they're definitely going to take you more seriously the next time. In fact, you, you might have a lot of people ask you, hey, can I get in? I, maybe I was out of town or something like that. Um, and you can actually make sales later down the road. All right. So we've done this in a variety of niches as well. It, it works well in business. It works well in other non-business related niches. Works really well, especially with B2C type stuff. You, you, you see that in Black Friday sales, right? People are standing in line. You see people that are literally coming at 5 a.m. in the morning or even 1 a.m. in the morning just to get a really good deal. And think about it. The reason why is because those deals never come unless they're on Black Friday, which is a yearly thing. So for those of you who are not aware of Black Friday, it's a thing in America that a lot of stores do. And what they do is every year they will discount their prices so low that their their whole goal is to get people through the door. And it's so crazy that, you know, people go crazy. Even I buy things on Black Friday because you save a lot of money. So same thought process here. Yes, you might lose some money, but at the end of the day, people will remember. And next time you do it, whenever you do it, then they're going to take you more seriously and you're going to make a lot more money. Now, you could use a countdown timer, which I highly recommend that you do. I'm not really going to name any countdown timer because there are many out there, but you can just go to Google, type in countdown timer, and you'll find the ones that you need. All you need is a simple countdown timer, nothing fancy. You don't need all the fancy uh, softwares or anything like that. Just something that says 72 hours and it counts down. And that's all you really need. Now let's discuss the different avenues that you can take. 
So these are different avenues. So you can pick one, you can pick two. I recommend that you just pick one for now and then implement the one later on at a later date if you want to do that. But avenue number one is coupon discounts for your customers. So let's say you have a product that is $77. You could offer a time limited $20 off coupon that expires within 72 hours. This works really well, or you could do it manually meaning you started at $77 and then let's say that you uh, bump it down, you know, to overall site wide to let's say $20 cheaper than that, which is $57. And then at a certain time and date, you can bump it up. Now, if you do this manually, you could actually use this with a time sale, which I'm going to talk about later on. But this is really good because coupons really, really work. You give somebody an actual coupon that they enter into the actual shopping cart. And because they're taking that action, they're more likely to actually buy. Now, if it's automatic and you just bump it down automatically, that will actually save people from entering the coupon. So just make sure that if you use a coupon, you sync the coupon with the countdown timer. So meaning if you end the countdown timer at such and such day and time, you also terminate the coupon, which you can do automatically within JVZoo. And the nice thing about JVZoo is there are other options and you can also make a coupon discount for everything in your funnel. So you could do $20 off every single thing inside of your funnel and not just the front end offer itself. And I'll show you how to implement all that later down the road. So the only difference between the previous one and this one is that with the JV promotions, you're basically making a time limited discount for that particular JV or affiliate. So that means your front end offer is going to say, stay the same. Everybody else is going to see it. So behind the scenes, you're going to have a different page set up for that particular JV or affiliate. And you're going to do something like a 72 hour special. So in other words, you're giving a discount just for their subscriber list. So anybody who goes to your front page, they're going to see, let's say, for example, the previous example, they're going to see that is $77, but you're going to have a different landing page, a different duplicate of the sales page where your JV is going to send their traffic to, and they're going to see a discount just for that page. Now, once you figure out the sweet spot or the right discount, you can run these on a consistent basis. And these are basically private promotions and they work really well because if somebody goes to the front page, it's $77 versus they're going to go to this special landing page. That's $20 off. So, these work really, really well, and you can run these and make a lot of money with this, but just don't overdo it. Just make sure that keep in mind that if you're in this very similar niche and you got all these people with overlapping lists with different subscribers on them, those subscribers are going to see these promotions on and on and on. And if you overdo it, these subscribers will not take you seriously. So keep that in mind. You know, a lot of people have lists that are overlapping. So that's something that you really need to think about. So now that you understand this, let me show you how to implement them in the next few videos. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by All Super Info.